Hi, I'm Craig Harding, and this is Neighborhood Eats. So my hood is Dundas West. Campagnolo, I work here, I own it. I also live here, but most importantly, I enjoy eating every single thing that this hood has to offer. Let's go check out some of my favorite spots. Co sandwiches are honestly one of a kind. The crackling is crispy, the meat is tender, and it has so much flavor. Let's go try one. This is Nick Oftemauer. He's the unofficial sandwich king of Dundas West. Your main focus is? Is porchetta, a whole pig, boned out, heavily seasoned and marinated, lots of salt, olive oil, pepper, tied up. Put on a spit, slow cook over open flame, two and a half to like three and a half hours of cooking. The last thing we need to do here is eat one. Can I can Definitely. I try one? Absolutely. Come on back. I'm gonna come back? Come. Let's All do right. it. Yeah. Okay. Bread. First thing you need a bun. Set up your base, right? So crackling. Right? Yes. So that's like the best, the, the best part for yeah. sure. We we double bake oh, our, yeah. our crackling, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's like shatters in your mouth. I'll carve the porchetta yeah. for you. Is this a street food? This is like Italian street food? Of course, yeah. yeah. This is definitely, I mean, like, you go there and, like, this is, like, a food truck. And you just give it a press. Push it down. Right? Squeezing out, like, the bit of the moisture and the oils and, like, the fat. Yeah. Like, out of the oh, parquetta, but it's getting, like, into stop, the bun stop, as well, man. too. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> tomato, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. So now we want to do the rapini. Okay, rapini. Now we would do parm. the parm. Okay. Moz Mozzarella. Finish. Yep. Beautiful. And we're done. Nice. The moment we've all been waiting for. It's so good. There's a reason I love this sandwich. Crunch from the um, the crackling, the tomato, the saltiness of the cheese, the fresh herbs. Then you've got this like beautiful green rapini bitterness to like kind of round the whole thing out. It's so good. <laughs> Off the mark, you did it again. Archive Wine Bar is my go-to spot for a glass of wine and a quick snack. They knock it out of the park every time. Let's go try some. We are here with Josh and Ian at Archive. We're in a wine bar, right? Yeah. What are we missing? We need some wine. We need some wine. Why don't I go get some wine, and Ian will go get some food, and then we'll try them out. All right. Little colors. A little uh, Riviola Gialla from Friuli. From Friuli. Orange wine is like another way to be between red and white yes. that is not rosé. So what they'll do is take white grapes and then ferment them on their skins like they would with a red wine. It's a little more like drinking a light red than it is like drinking a, a white wine. It's a hybrid. It's cool. It's like nothing you've ever had before. I had, the last time I was here, it was like a bread and cheese dumpling. What, what is it called? Pelote cacio pane. Bread and cheese dumplings. Yeah, I love it. You deep fry the dumplings? Yes. And uh, our house-made marinara sauce. Wow. A little dehydrated basil on top. That is stunning. All right, here we go. Zit. Pelote cacio pane. What is the cheese in inside? Uh, it's a mix of pecorino and piave. It's salty, it's cheesy, it's rich, it's satisfying. And it goes well with wine. Yeah, sure. Keep it up, guys. What a great little neighborhood spot. We are here at the Trinity Bellwoods Farmer's Market. This is set up in Trinity Bellwoods Park every Tuesday all summer long, and it's the perfect place for me to come, not only get inspired, but also pick up produce, not only for my house, but for the restaurant. Let's go check it out. Good to see you, man. How are things? Very good. Can I get some of this mix here? Yep, yeah, sure. I love that one. I yeah. got a 100 gram bag. This is fine. This yeah, is perfect. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Hi, Ruth. Hi, how are you? I'm so good. You? Okay, let's give you some taste. Okay, what do we have so here? This one's water buffalo. We put in fenugreek. So you get these caramely notes in it. Who does that? It's great. Fenugreek? No, it's weird. I love, I love it though. I love it. I know, it's great. I'm going to do the cheese with the fenugreek. Perfect. And then I'm going to take that second one as well. Okay. A little bit of both, okay? okay. So we're going to go over now to Alimentari Foods, where my friend Chris makes the most incredible pastas. Let's go look. What makes these special? Uh, a couple things. The, the flour we're using is 100% okay. Durham Semolina flour. Okay. Milled in Alberta. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful, uh, kind of coarse, hard flour. Yeah. Um, then we also use really good quality Ontario eggs, duck eggs and hen eggs exclusively. I want to try the basil rigatoni. Amazing. And then maybe I'll do that, a simple tomato. Beautiful. And then maybe you'll have some, some burrata or mozzarella at home to go nice, with that. Nice. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds good? Okay, what about you guys? 
last time. Thanks, Juice. Thank well, that's it for me. I've got a lot of hungry mouths to feed here at Campagnolo. So I hope you all see why I love Dundas West so much. I really do think it's got the best food in the city. For more neighborhood eats, check out foodnetwork.ca.